hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Sharani today I'm going to show you how to make Belizean style Kongs fritters for this recipe I'm using a half a pound of Kongs and if you don't know what Kongs is it's a seafood it's very popular in Belize it's very popular in the Caribbean this is something I grew up eating. I love Kongs. I love seafood. If you haven't seen Kongs shell before, this is what it looks like. It's so hard to find here in Texas. There is only one store I can buy it from. But oh my goodness, it's so so expensive. Well, I mean it's expensive compared to what we would pay back home in Belize. So the way I like to prepare my Kongs is to cut off any piece of the Kongs that has that darker piece of skin. I don't keep that, I don't eat it, but I know some people do. So when I make my Kongs fritters, I like big pieces of Kongs in there, so this is how I like to cut it, but you can cut it to however you like. So I'll just cut thin strips and then I'll cut those into small cubes. When you cut your thin strips, make sure you slice it against the grain. It's like when you're cutting beef meat, you know, if you cut it with the grain, the meat will be tough. But if you cut it against the grain, it won't be tough. So just do the same thing with your Kongs. I know a lot of people think Kongs is tough and it's hard to cook and you have to cook it a long time for it to be soft. But that is not true. It's like shrimp. You don't have to cook it long at all. If you're not familiar with Kongs, you might be confused as to why I say Kongs when it's spelled as conch, I guess. But um, <laughs> that's even weird for me to say. I'm not used to calling it conch or conch. As Belizeans, we say conchs, like everybody in Belize pronounce it as conchs. So while I'm cutting up my conchs, I'm going to teach you a Belizean word. I'm going to teach you how we say fritters in Belize. I know I don't live in Belize anymore, I live in Texas, but I always talk to my family back home, I talk to them every day. So I always talk Creole, I not talk English all the time. So anyway, so the way we say fritters in Belize is flitters. So when you say you're making Kongs fritters, if you're making it the Belizean style, just say you're making Kongs flitters. <laughs> if you're not familiar with Belizeans and how they speak, well, when we talk, we never call things the correct thing, ever. But if we're writing it down on paper, we're going to call it the correct thing. But when we speak, it's different, if that makes sense. After I cut up all my kongs, I'm going to wash it and then I'll be back. Okay, let's put this together. So to my bowl, I'm adding my Kongs. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of diced green bell pepper, or how Belizeans say it, sweet pepper. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of diced onion. One large clove of finely chopped garlic and about three to four cilantro leaves and this is what cilantro looks like it is not the same as cilantro that is totally different and I'm just going to chop this really fine This is optional, but I'm going to add half of this habanero in there. 
and I'm not putting the seeds in there because my husband can't eat a lot of pepper but I just want the flavor from the habanero in my opinion it just doesn't taste the same without it like it needs that habanero to give it that nice flavor that I'm used to just mix that around and then add your other ingredients okay now I'm going to add one teaspoon of seasoned salt and this is the one I like to use I'm adding half a teaspoon of black pepper a quarter teaspoon of onion powder a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder a quarter teaspoon of paprika and of course I couldn't do this without adding my favorite Goya seasoning I put this in everything I just love it but this is not what Belizeans will typically use we would use ricotta or achote to give it that color but I prefer this because I feel like this just gives it flavor and the perfect color that I like this is what most people would use this is my ricotta and how I keep it in their fridge or achote as it's known here in the states mix that really well so the kungs could get coated with the seasoning oh my goodness at this point it just smells so so good I just wish you could smell it now I'm going to add one cup of white all-purpose flour one teaspoon of baking powder and one cup of water mix that really well until everything is thoroughly combined so if you're making a big batch of kongs fritters just remember for every cup of flour do one cup of water and one teaspoon of baking powder and then just adjust the seasoning accordingly this is how I like my batter to be not too thin or not too thick just enough where you can spoon it up and put it in the pan I'm just tasting it to make sure the seasoning is right now I'm going to set this aside and let the flavors develop while I heat up the oil to my pan set over medium heat I'm going to add some canola oil in my pan and you want to put at least a quarter of an inch of oil in your pan now that my oil is nice and hot I'm just going to drop these by spoonfuls in the pan and you can make these as big or as little as you want it's up to you but this is the size I like fry these for about two and a half minutes on each side you don't want these to fry up too quick because otherwise your butter will be raw you don't want to eat any raw flour don't go in there and turn them every minute just let them fry on one side for two and a half minutes and then turn it over on the next side and let that fry and then take them out I forgot I had this splatter guard thing and this helps a little bit with the oil getting everywhere I love Kong's fritters but I don't like to fry them because the oil gets everywhere your whole stove gets dirty the oil gets on your floor so just make sure you put down some oil rag or something so your floor is not so greasy I'm just using two spatula to turn them so the oil doesn't splash and burn me the only bad thing about Kong's fritters is that they're known to be greasy so if you don't like greasy food or fry food don't make these they taste really really good but they're greasy when you take these out make sure you drain them on some paper towels and you might need to drain them two times just to help get out some of the oil
So usually when you eat Kong's fritters, you just eat it by itself. It doesn't come with a sauce. But you can feel free to eat it with whatever you like if you want to eat it with something. But Belizeans just eat it just like that. Be sure to take out all of the small pieces that are left behind. You don't want to leave those in there, otherwise they're going to burn. From this batter, I made 9 big ones and 1 baby one. I wanted to break one open and show you what it looks like when it comes right out of the pan and because it's so hot it's going to look a little wet inside but I promise you it's not raw when it cools down it's going to look different this is how I like my Kong's fritters I like to see the Kong's in there usually when you buy Kong's fritters you could barely see your Kong's you might see a few pieces here and there but you don't really see a lot okay so this is what it looks like after it has cooled down completely oh my goodness I wish you could taste this it's so good I love Kong's but I love seafood so that's my thing but it tastes so good if I had to describe the texture of Kong's to you I would say it's rubbery and soft at the same time but it's really good it has a unique flavor I tell you nothing makes me more happier than some good Kong's fritters with lots of Kong's as always thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you have not yet subscribed please don't forget to do that and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload new videos and I'll talk to you in my next one take care Bye.